So this may come as a surprise to some people, but WarioWare smooth moves. It's the Wii WarioWare. I've been in a bit of a Wario mood, and um, the announcement of WarioWare for the Switch made me think, man, I'd like to uh, revisit an older Wario game. Which one haven't I revisited in a long time? And it's this one. In fact, I don't know if I've ever streamed this or did any content on it. If I did, it was before it would have ever been on the Full Sauce channel. So, WarioWare Smooth Moves. I'm not a huge fan of motion controls in this context, but this game is genuinely, like, ridiculous and fun. So... Yes. I like even the title screen, you can do stupid things. Um, what are we doing here? Who will play? My name? War... Waro... Warol. <laughs> That's me. Thank you. And... <laughs> I guess... Uh, hello. Warl. Warl sounds like a Nintendo tuber. Perhaps a Muppet? Put your hand through the wrist strap. Oh, well. Uh, of course I will do that. I definitely have a wrist strap attached to this Wiimote. So yeah, I guess we'll we'll just do um well I don't know what I want to do. Okay. I don't know if I'm even gonna play all of this. I might. Depends. If you like it, I if I like it, I, I probably will like it, because I remember liking it back in the day. I played a lot of this. I like the GameCube one more. But this one was cool. So here's your typical WarioWare story. Wario eating Sustaining his life only on sweets, cupcakes, cakes, donut, until a bird steals them and Wario's heart hardens. He goes on a murderous rampage, gets arrested, and then comes back, works at an Amazon fulfillment center. <laughs> That's WarioWare 2021. Okay, so this is a unique Wario game in some ways. Hold the form but tone straight. ASMR. With the tip pointing forward, this simple stance reflects one of life's fiercest and greatest sports channel surfing. <laughs> I forgot about all this. But this game is unique in that it tells you how to hold the Wiimote. Because there's so many different forms. That was a weak mustache. Come on, Wario's got a better mustache than that. Oh, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, I remember this one. It's, it's amazing how much of this I don't remember and how much of it I do remember. That is a bizarre statement. But some of it's coming back to me and then other things I'm just like, nope, I got nothing. This was kind of like, some of the best use of the Wiimote for me. Just because it's so creative and weird, and you have to like, actually use dimension with some of the, the micro games. I just killed an entire, like, that was an entire, like, hatch of, of what, what would you call, like, a bunch of Wario eggs that just hatched? Whatever that is, that was what that was. They're all dead now. Now that was crazy! You got it. You got the Wiimote. 
Now you could find these things at yard sales for 13 cents. Newtown bulletin board popped up in the south part of town. So we got the movie. What's the train station again? Let's find out. I guess this is, um... Uh, not unlocked yet, is what it is. See all the games and pose cards you've unlocked. Oh, right, yeah, because the... right. These are all the different ways to hold the Wiimote. That's what I'm saying about creativity. Okay. Intro minigames. So, I'm playing this maybe a week or so before Skyward Sword HD comes out. And I'm using the Skyward Sword Wiimote from original release, the gold one. And it's weird because motion controls were the coolest fucking thing. And I mentioned that I have an, uh, a new TV. And the, the remote functions as like a gyroscopic Wiimote. And you use it like this. And that was like, you know, 15 years ago, whenever the Wii was out. It was like, holy shit. It was amazing. And then I just got sick of it. And Skyward Sword probably put the nail in the coffin for me. Because while it was cool, it was, like, a little tedious, and also, um... 10% of the time or more, it wasn't registering my movements, my motions. That said, this still feels to me like the height of motion control and creativity in regards to Nintendo games. And now Skyward Sword's coming out with, like, non-motion control options, and I'm like, hmm! Look at these Wii graphics. <laughs> if I was streaming this right now, you know people in chat would be saying, this looks like a mobile game. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. <laughs> New form, unlocked. Hold the form baton vertically. Umbrella, it's pronounced. On the button. Through this dance, you channel the quiet dignity of a circus clown. Yeah. In the midst of a thunderstorm. Yep, yeah, that's me. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right, I remember that one. Fuck. Gotcha. <laughs> Turn the form baton sideways and grasp the ends firmly in both hands. Oh, that's what she like said. A Michael Scott. Perfecting this dance requires grace, steadiness, and tight shorts. Oh. I like how this game invented ASMR. Pump. Uh, it's it's the coffee cup from Mario Paint. There we go. You know what game I've never played? Wii Sports Resort. I probably played it like once at a friend's house. I don't even remember. Maybe. Maybe. Because I have the, um, the Wiimote required for such things. Maybe I will check that out one day. That's the one with sword fighting, I think. 
Because Wii Sports, I played a lot of, but I'm not like a big sports guy. But you know, you couldn't get us, you couldn't get a Wii without Wii Sports, right? So I played it. I loved it for what it was. Oh, oh! That, that was Minecraft Steve. Holy shit! In a Nintendo game before Smash. Yeah, I remember this. I remember all these silly little mini games. No, I don't remember all of them. I remember this one, though. Hey, when the motion controls work, it's good shit. <laughs> it's good shit. Give it your all. Yeah. Only a few seconds left, and only one question remains. Will the Diamond City Rough turn around game round? I don't know, Mitch. There seems to be some traffic. Outside Six Flags. Three hours of traffic because someone tried to turn left into a divider. That's nice. There's uh, new duck babies at the lake I go to. At the park I go to. New duck babies just dropped. I will have to share. At some point, I will also, I will do a further update on, on the, the geese and duck situation, but today is not that day. I will just say that for now, it is adorable. Did this game have the little tchotchkes that you can play around with? I forget. Did anyone else not get that it was a katana reference at first? Like, yeah, they say it, but... You know, was anyone else stupid like me? They might have been in a, a Game Boy 1. There's also WarioWare SPIN on uh, GBA, which was like maybe one of the best ones. But I don't know how, how hard that is to emulate. I mean, to play, because I wouldn't be able to, uh... I wouldn't be able to capture that. I don't have a GBA adapter of any kind, and, and like, you still have to rotate the thing while it's plugged in. The sketch artist. Maybe someone knows how to do it. As you would a pencil during a pop, pop quiz. quiz. Delicately, but defiantly. Thanks. Mastery of this move can change a pop quiz into a pop quizzer. This is good writing. That was good writing, too. That was good enough writing, I should say. The chauffeur. Turn the form baton <laughs> sideways and wrap your hands around both ends. As the form baton turns, so too do the earth and all upon it, from liver to livery men. It's deep. So yeah, WarioWare Twisted. I don't, I don't really know if that's... emulatable? Yeah, in a case like that, when you don't have a wrist strap, I almost... 
instinctually just dropped it on the ground, but I kind of like simulated that and that was good enough. The samurai, with your right hand, hold the form baton close to your left hip, like a hungry samurai defending his lunch. I mean, I'm sitting. Close your eyes and await your enemy's attack. I mean, t to use an analogy, I'm sitting like a beached seal, so. <laughs> so, yeah, that was definitely not anything like you would see in a movie film. Yo, look at that guy! Holy shit! Can someone rip the model of that- of that strange man? We need that dude in VR. You want to talk about, like, obscure characters that Sakurai can pull from? For the, uh... Okay. Well, don't know how to do that one, clearly. That's mean. There you go. Enjoy dentures. Dishwasher the way I used to speak before I got my dentures. The rubber chicken book said that was the funniest knock-knock joke of all time. Knock-knock, who's there? Dishwasher. Dishwasher who? Dishwasher the way I used to sound before I got my dentures. I was a kid, I read that rubber chicken book, and I didn't understand that joke, and I didn't laugh, and I hated it. And yet I thought... Well, it- clearly the rubber chicken book! Oh, shoot. Um... Clearly the- don't talk and drive, folks. Clearly the rubber chicken book knows better than I. It- it is funny. I am not. I had that book when I was real young. It was like just a book of dumb humor, and I loved it. And now you know why my sense of humor is just... stupid. Rubber chicken book. All right. I've told that story... in other... videos of mine, other streams of mine. And just like the dishwasher joke, it never gets better or funnier. If you had your own clone, what would you do? You have to imagine the developers just had a lot of fun. That's one of the reasons I love this series so much, is it's just, you can... Detect. It's palpable. You can detect that the developers were just having a lot of fun. Okay, I had a little bit of, uh, Wiimote crust. I remember- oh man, I played a lot of this. Castlevania-esque music. But why does the music have to go this hard? Why is it so good? For a silly tower minigame. just became, like, e ELP. 
it's it's fucking seventies prog rock mixed with Castlevania, which has also got that in there anyway. Is this not in Smash? I was supposed to get it in the flower, I think. God, that's that's some good shit. The Wario game on the GameCube is a really good multiplayer Wario game. And Dave and I were talking about maybe getting that going at some point. Uh, via netplay. Could be fun. This will be the year of WarioWare, I think. That just reminds me of like, you go to um, a store that sells like, furnishings for your home, and there's now wooden like, you know, rustic wooden like, planks that go on your kitchen wall that say hangry. <laughs> Who's buying that shit? Live, love, laugh. Hangry. Find the sword as a robot. The tug of war. With the four baton pointing forward, hold it firmly with both hands just above the navel. This dance calls to mind the epic struggle between heads and tails. Gonna need you to recognize the Wiimote better. Okay. It just says weirdo. That's that's your instruction. The waiter. Place the form baton in your palm. Tip forward and buttons facing up. <laughs> See yourself serving a group of socialites. Such grace, they cry. Such style. Such hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres. Resident Evil 8 minigame. Ethan Winters taking much time. Ah, oh, what, what the fuck, Wiimote? Please. The elephant. Point the form baton forward, with the end lightly touching your nose. Just as the mighty elephant uses its trunk to gorge on peanuts. So too will your new nose sustain you. <laughs> Get nose grease on your Wemo. It's very silly. And totally unnecessary to even do that. Actually, a good chunk of these 
you could just hold the Wiimote like the remote control and still manage to, uh... Manage to, uh, be, you know, be equipped to handle the micro game. Yeah, that one I remember being confusing. I, I, for some reason, that confused me back in the day. <laughs> Talk show host man from WarioWare Smooth Moves confirmed for Smash. Final character revealed. No clickbait. Free Bitcoin. And free beer through the internet. Like those old War uh, Warcraft 3 servers I used to go to. <laughs> it was sliding. I'll take two of those. Haha, <laughs> uh, excuse me. Let's get in line, Master. Wonderful stories to be told here. There he is. Bizarre Luigi. Dance Luigi. Blockstar. I remember playing and enjoying quite a bit. Let me, uh, actually get into a position. You know, like one of those lovely positions that you can use. Part-time UFO had something a little bit like this, in a different way, of course, and there have been other games that do a similar... a similar thing to this. Steven Spielberg himself created an entire Switch game around this concept. He didn't, but he did do, uh, Wii. Not Switch. I do that a lot. I say Switch when I mean to say Wii, and vice versa. They are both kind of... ...in some ways, similar consoles. I mean, if you think about the success of both, that's the similarity. The complacency of Nintendo. Mid-lifespan for both. The previous console not doing so well. The, um... It looks like Wario's given the finger. Huh. The other thing about the Switch that's similar to the Wii is, like... Yeah, I mean... The motion controls, I guess, but even then, the Switch is still kind of de-emphasized as much of that. So if I'm not mistaken, Nintendo... There was some kind of mandate where they had to get motion controls... ...in their games, even if it didn't feel like it would fit. Something like that. I, maybe I just heard that wrong, or maybe it was some rumor. Which is why so many games like Mario Galaxy had, like, the spin thing. You, you spin the Wiimote. It's because John Tendo was like, Yeah, we have this product, and we're, we're gonna try to change the world with motion control so that grandmothers at nursing homes can play. So, if you wouldn't mind making Mario spin, that would be great. Thanks. Shh. 
Jesus. <laughs> I call this one Verge of Disaster. Oh, don't- no, 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 recognize. Recognize. Didn't recognize. It's another thing that kind of fucking sucks about motion controls on the Wii. Is you gotta get that sensor bar in- in there. Ing. Ing. Uh. Gotta recognize. I was trying to do something... ...kind of fun. There. Oh. Well, hey, that's fun, right? That's fun! I call this one Verge of Disaster. Call this one the middle finger. Do one more for now. Fast. Call this one Verge of Disaster. <laughs> okay. Hey, DJ. I've been playing WarioWare games, you know, since they've. I, every time I, a new one comes out, I buy it pretty much day one. And I never remember this dude's name. I just call him like Disco Waluigi. Why that mouth, though? It's not even covering the whole cat. They, they really got this guy's lips, like, perfect. Okay, I've had enough of this- this fever dream. <laughs> Let's play some mini-games. Mushroom. They call me a Shrigma male. What's a shrigma male? Shrigma... Shrigma sh is, a, is a mushroom man, like a sigma. Go to sleep. 
I'm going to take your cellular telephone that doesn't even have a, a touch screen yet. Oh! Bounced it too high, but we're good. What a... What a bunch of nonsense. What a bunch of fucking baloney. Okay. Push someone, volcano erupts. Okay. Drink this suspicious yellow liquid, no problem. Oh, yeah, yeah try, okay, let, for this next minigame, don't drop a broom in the hollow deck. Because we can just beam the... ejaculate into space. Drift. God damn monkey. Look, little monkey fellas. Little monkey fella. Okay. Smooth. All right. Jimmy T. I got your number. Well, some of this feels like a new game, because I don't remember the Cat Conga line. And it definitely feels a bit like a fever dream. Today was very hot. Okay, today, when, uh, as of day recording, we were subjected to, like, 95 degree Fahrenheit. Which has been, you know, there's been like a heat wave. We've had multiple 95 to 100 degree days, and then a little bit of rain and all that. But, you know, it was a busy day for me, and truthfully, the the heat made me extra tired. So, I'm a little tired now, which you've heard before, because I'm always tired when I play video games. Um... Speaking of playing video games... We gotta do... oh, wait. No, that's not 8-bit. I need... Where's the classic Nintendo lads? That's right. Okay, here's this character that... some people absolutely fucking lose their shit over. <laughs> the point is, though, this is doubly a fever dream when you're tired, so I recommend playing it after, say, pulling several all-nighters in a row. Note, if you do that... I didn't tell you to do so. Is the song? Is there the song? Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Oh, I know who did the soundtrack to this. 
Danny Orkman. Danny Elfman's worst nightmare. Are you happy I'm still around? Doing some cool jokes like that. Eleven years on, and my jokes haven't improved. <laughs> The Thumb Wrestler. Hold the four baton vertically and rest your thumb on the top of it. The noblest of athletes, the Thumb Wrestler endures years of training before mastering this pose. Okay. No sound effects for that one. That's weird. <laughs> I, I want Wario soda. The discard. Place the form baton face the down bears. on the table surface. The like bears. Wanted, but still treasured playing card. Do not touch the form baton again. Until the proper time. Okay. Perfect. Oh, I think I'm supposed to be getting noise from the, the speaker. On this thing. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to be getting some speaker noise and I'm not. Why do dolphins not have speaker noise? I wonder. Just a random non-emulation related question about dolphins. The big cheese. With the form baton at your hip, force your chest and hips forward. <laughs> this dance honors the CEO, unsung hero standing proud on the backs of his employees. <laughs> I will discover if there's speaker functionality. Luck? Did that want me to jump in real life? Oh god. Gear shifts. Gotcha. Uh, I was gonna say, I, what kind of gear shift is that? I know nothing about cars, so I have. I have no idea. Oh, the discard. Take when ready. What fuck kind of burger is this? Oh, I missed it because the rats broke it. That's good, I want to see another burg. I want to see what other burgs are possible at this fine establishment. You know, four-leaf clovers, Wiimotes, poop. Actual, like, shit is in this burger right now. Several shit. Three full shits are in this burger on top of the asparagus and under the asparagus. What the fuck? And a live fish. <laughs> Enable speaker data. Mr. Data. Me. 
Nice little shop of horrors and alien reference all in one. Howdy, it, partner. It should have been I can shoot. Like, I... Like, no, this is better. I'm still not hearing speaker data. I do remember this. I don't think I've played very much of it, but... Just your, your run-of-the-mill shooting gallery. I mean, every Carnival Circus game on the Wii, you know, all four dozen of them have the same thing repeated dozens of times. Yes. It sounds awful scummy. Tell <laughs> is that a is that a Wiimote problem or is that a fish problem? Here we go. Hmm. <laughs> Dribble spits and drool. And their lawyer swallows. see a, a television show starring these two with Danny DeVito also in it and Andy Kaufman we'll call it taxi we just won't acknowledge that there's two cartoon animals it from below in your right hand. True masters exhibit a firm grip and an exaggerated grimace. Oh god, I remember this song. You don't need We Fit. forward and hold it atop your head. Letting the form baton fall is like letting a mohawk droop. Shameful and forbidden. Sitting 
the way I wish you could have seen the way I I like jostled the Wiimote to get that pitch. It was just like real baseball. The janitor. Hold the form baton with both hands as you would a mop. The right hand represents order, the left, filth. <laughs> the form baton is the bridge between the two. I'm learning so much. I want to do a voice of one of the WarioWare characters and, and just do my signature. Yeah. Why though? Why are we? What is? Why are we hurting that guy? I remember that face. Bad music. You know, playing Mario Golf Super Rush and seeing the Miis that are available in that. And then play, playing this. And there's like a 15 year difference almost, right? 14 years or so. Same Miis. The only difference is that um, Miitopia on the Switch has phenomenal Miis. Which should be system wide. But otherwise we get lads that look like this. Well, that was generous. Why banana, though? Well, then I'd have to ask why nose. And at this point, it's too late to ask that question. The WarioWare series does not have answers. Yeah, the speaker still isn't really working. I hear like little crust noises, but I don't think that's normal. Which makes me wonder if Dolphin inherently has problems. Or maybe it's the Wayfair adapter that I'm using. Maybe it doesn't send the da data back properly. I don't- I don't know. Of course, it's also very possible I just have a scummy Wiimote. Crygor versus Crygor. Oh, right. There's a lot of Game & Watch lads watching this. Burning ants with a magnifying glass. Nintendo thought it was cute enough to put it in their video game. Finger food. Holding the back end delicately between two fingers. Point the form baton forward. The regal french fry remains one of nature's greatest muses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, this form seems a trifle unnecessary. Alright, I had to unlock the door. Alright. Eureka! 
Yeah, I'm not getting any sound data whatsoever. The mortar and pestle. Hold the form baton vertically in your right hand and cup it gently in the palm of your left. To crush is also to create, and from squashing comes spice. Uh, again, yeah, I, I guess I could see why the mortar and pestle was necessary. There might be like a couple too many forms in this game, but I'm not, I'm just gonna complain for the sake of it. It's fun. Hooray, I give these four fussies out of four. The boxer. Turn the form baton sideways and hold it firmly from above in your right hand. Let the spirit of the noble sucker punch guide you to victory. Yeah, yeah, punch the Wemo. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I like that one. And also, the this guitar string almost sounded like speed. That little robot should have gotten its own spin-off. Okay, you get to wash a cow's asshole in this game. Somehow didn't remember that one. This is a lovely game of ass. Why didn't it work? Yeah, it just didn't work. I was doing the thing. That one worked. Better than red steel. I ain't never seen graphics that good. They should port this to the Switch OLED. And have it only work on the Switch OLED with no explanation. This right here. These are the mini games I've been waiting for. Okay, hang on. Nine volt. This is always the most anticipated part of any WarioWare game for me. Probably not alone in that sentiment. Is that a DS Lite? No, it's a Game & Watch. I, I like revisiting old Nintendo games and seeing which product they were pushing at that time.
Only at Game Store can you buy such things. There we go. Nintendi references, my favorite. <laughs> that was the new shit at the time, Nintendogs, that was the big deal. Oh man, OG Animal Crossing on GameCube. Sorry for <laughs> saying OG. A reminder that Pikmin 4 is still not out. Or announced. Sorry. Sorry, Arlo. I can't believe they put all of Wind Waker in this one Mario game. Pro tip, you don't need to stand like that for that one. This scene, right, that we're seeing right here, the kids at the, at the game store, at this moment in time, it would just be scalpers. It would just be, like, a bunch of middle-aged men with beard on their faces and necks, and also wearing the same New York Yankees hat. All grabbing it up, getting ready to sell that shit on eBay. while all the kids are at school still. Listen, scalpers have been a problem for a long time, and in different ways, too, like... In the music... In the music world, fucking Pearl Jam boycotted Ticketmaster. But, you know, Ticketmaster was, was sly. And, uh... Yeah. Unfortunately, it's- it's- they didn't quite win. And now prices are still $300. Thanks, Ticketmaster. By the way, I am not commenting enough on this right now, but I fucking love this. 60 FPS Star Fox with Rob the Robot as a boss. I would like to see a full 60 FPS remake of Star Fox Original and 2. With similar visual style, with some up updates, and just tons more content. And different, like, you know... Different R-Wing abilities. That would be a good direction for Star Fox. Even though they've remade Star Fox, um... The original, like, four times by now. In different ways. Jimmy <laughs> I'm sorry, but whomst is this? Club Spice. Do you know what happens in there? Lots of good curry. While people fuck. All right, well, you know, we gotta save development costs. So the best way to do that, really, is to just take the Jimmy other section, Jimmy T, and make this new character. Otherwise, it would be too difficult to draw. <laughs> Yeah, 
You know, this is another um, micro game that you don't have to actually squat for. You get into a kind of a groove where you start to recognize certain mini games, and then you can just do the thing. You can just play them however you want. As long as you you kind of know what you're doing with the controller, it's it's you don't have to actually stand up and squat. Oh boy. Of course, it's more fun to do that, but. I am very anti-fun. Hey, DJ. Thank, thank God for the visual feedback. No. I, okay. Superior Jimmy P. Boogie. Little would he know that the corns would be ripped off in a couple years. sound because we mo okay nope and then that I didn't even tr like I don't even know how I did that that fast And then that doesn't work. Okay. And I actually did the thing, too. What the fuck? What is happening? Okay. I can aff afford to lose no more puppies. Perceive that as a noose. Oh. The fuck is that game? Oh. I mean, again, I am tired. That's my excuse today. But still, what? What the fuck, man? How does one straighten papers better than that? Yums. Their yums got yucked. Better at catching fish minigame in WarioWare than actual Animal Crossing catching fish.
Okay. Okay, all right, come on, come on now. Still feel bad about crushing that Pikmin. I just can't. Yeah. I guess small motions, like really small motions. And then that one was fine that time. Okay. <laughs> okay, we. I remember now. I remember. It's all coming back to me. Yeah, I, I see how you have to do that now. You actually have to, like, tilt the Wiimote appropriately. Very dumb of me that I didn't think of that earlier, but that's okay. Oh, no, mouse car. Sorry, I can't hear you if you're speaking. Look at that accurate motion controlled sword. Peace. Well, there you go. <laughs> I mean, half the fun of the WarioWare games is going back and trying to get high scores and seeing all the different forms of the minigames. And then unlocking the... the tchotchkes, the toys. They're fun! Again, WarioWare Twisted had some good ones. WarioWare Touched on the DS was pretty good. I don't know if I've ever played that one on uh, stream. I just don't. I think Game and Wario was the one I played the most. Because that one came out, and then WarioWare Gold, obviously. Um, I probably have done this at some point. But then I know I did the GameCube one. Somewhere along the way. Some, somewhere along the way I did that, but not too much of it. I'll go back to 9 volt, check out a couple more, uh... A couple more classic games. Bass. That was like a barred knife jaw knife jack. I forget what the name of that fish was, but yeah. C plus. Sift through the sand to get playing cards. Open this bar of gold to possibly get actual real gold. Or a chunk of meat food. <laughs> I'm sitting too far away to mute. I'm sorry. There 
we go. Twist the knobs for Pong. Good minigame. Well, Pong, Pong-ish. Look at, look, did you see Lank? Holy fuck, Adult Link was real weird. And then Child Link had like... Extra high-pitched voice. That was, that was strange. Missing, uh, there you go, there's lost Metroid Prime content, everybody. Big brain. Darren Wing Darren. I don't know why the one or two buttons wouldn't shoot either. That just makes sense. If one or two on the Wiimote is like the A or B button. I said that with a little Italian lilt. But yeah, it's, it's just weird. It should just at least be an option. Word. I wonder if they actually had an employee in a morph suit. And then, like, got the silhouette of said employee and, and just put it in the game. I know I have an adapter for, um, component cables into HDMI signal, which I could then use into my capture device, because I'm not capturing this through capture device. I think we, we all know this by now. Um, yeah, this is where I wear twisted right here. I was given one, one thing to do. Not to lose. So yeah, if I need to... Like, actually capture my Wii and GameCube shit... In the future, I could use that. I just need to find it. But I know I have it somewhere. Because I got a new capture card... In the past year... Or so. Whenever I got this one, and it was a nightmare for a while, if anyone remembers, but it doesn't have a component input like my old one did. Oh wait, unless that was directly into an HDMI signal. I'm just thinking out loud. I, I tried to conduct. God. Oh, fucking hell. Motion controls, please. Good shit. <laughs> Someone recomposed the Star Fox theme. But just ever so slightly bootleg. It's like they heard it twice, and then would just go, do it. Oh, 
Seriously though, Star Fox, man, it's a shame. Because Star Fox Zero... When it was cool, it was, it was pretty cool. And I know it probably killed some of the motivation for Nintendo to make a new one, and also maybe killed the motivation of the fans to want a new one. But I would love something Star Fox related. Fucking miss that series. That was small. Sleep. Good game. Good. I am good. Put just put that one back in the sand. I got all of the Nintendo ones. We're missing one. Oh well. I want to go back and see Lank again. Oh, he's so weird and skinny. Someone needs to rip that model. And then just the cuckoo. Forever form baton. Why doesn't Mario's house look like a clove of garlic? A bulb of garlic, sorry. Bulb. Tons of scummy babby Warios. Okay, I'm glad the punch was recognized. There we go. I like that. Kaiju Wario. There's a game in there, like a full game somewhere. No, I didn't find the problem zone. Okay. Would it be great if you could just do that one time and then just get fucking ripped? <laughs> Good Wario noise music. Ass. Was that like a whalmer? Okay. 
S slap 3D Wario. Good, good. Beautiful. Barely won that one. Excuse me, your bills are overdue. Yeah, brew scared you. Oh, God, I remember this. Oh, no. Actual dancing now and <laughs> booty slaps, great. Pretty sure I did the thing. Thank God. Oh, I did not want to have to do that one again. back almost Pokemon music well that's it that's it go home hey Aunt Bertrude gives her thanks for watching Mario time uh, game is sixty dollar uh, hour and a half worth of gameplay. It's a very Wario type of game, and monetization will be unlocking new Wario farts. Uh, you get to kill Mario for ninety nine per month. Screw Mario. Oh, Orbulon. Forgot about Orbulon. Multi has been unlocked. Connect the balance stone. All oh, right. Yeah, I remember this. I remember I had to bring this out. And then it, uh, when I started the game, it said remove attachments. All right. The stone. My name is Jean-Baptiste Emmanuel Zog, and I'm looking for the stones. You know, that is a very rectal mouth. The sacred, the sacred stones, the death of gaming. 
All right, maybe it's a little overstated. Just because I don't like the way the motion controls are sometimes. The diner. You ain't mean they kill dining. The I mean gaming. Stone in your left hand and the form baton in your right. Stay vigilant. The battle for seconds is always sudden and fierce. Okay. It's a cool way to go about adding a little variety to the game. Even if uh, there's a lot less of these mini games than all the other ones. Oh, right. Yeah. Oops. Kind of hoping that bear would just automatically grab that, but... We're good. Still here. No! <laughs> Just flailing my arms around. Wow. Safety dog. Well, I really like safety dog. It's really nice. Rescue. Yeah. Oh, I, then you actually have to ride the bike. I kind of remember that one. Kel Jesta. What was that boxing game? There there was a boxing game. But one of the main boxers looked like that. Oh man. I forget. It's like a PS2 game or something. I turn this ship on the goddamn cheeseburger! Yow, yow, yow! I love some cheeseburger grease. Yeah, got them onion rings. Crygor. I mean, truthfully, I could kind of knock out the bulk of this content in under two hours. And then the rest is just unlocking little things and checking out all the rest of the games. I'm sorry, what the fuck am I looking at? this at all. Oh, it's like a workout thing. This is, uh, this isn't really what I want to be doing right now. I'm actually like almost ready for bed. It's, it's giving me the ones that require me to move my arm the most. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just like fake calories. 
I don't think you can really lose. It's it's more about the workout. <laughs> you know, it's it's about the pump. It's quite literally about the the pump. It's that Rick's UFO. I saw episode three of Ricardo Mortimer uh, of season five. Nah, it was all right. One and two were better, in my op in my opinion. But I I think it tried to do something kind of cool with uh, some character development and um, a fucking giant alien space slug orgy. But yeah, character development as well. Did it, they just say Pingush? <laughs> Listen, I'm hearing a very weird word. I actually tried to exit this, but th there's no button. Ah. There, there's, like, no button to exit. Well, this is one of uh, many ways to get one arm stronger than the other. And it's the second most fun way to do it. The first... Fencing. <laughs> wow. I feel... Wow, so accomplished. I guess this one didn't have the tchotchkes. Okay. You know, I forgot about this, and this is kind of cool because it's like... A motion control 3D remake of Balloon Fight. Or Balloon Trip, in particular, in this case. Which is kind of fucking cool. had quite enough. Alright, I, I think I'm done with WarioWare Smooth Moves. I, I think that might be it. In regards to a revisit, I think we covered most of it. Because sure, there's multiplayer, but I don't, I don't remember it being... No, there's darts. There's survival mode. Yeah, I, I kind of remember there being a couple decent... I mean, it's just me. But, uh, yeah. Kind of something around here I remember liking. Just like a decent multiplayer thing. 
But that, yeah, that's WarioWare Smooth Moves. Granted, we didn't see all of the minigames. And there's probably a couple extra unlockables aside from multiplayer. So, still a lot of micro slash mini games missing. Uh, did we unlock all the forms? Yeah, we got all the forms though. Still good. Only unlocked two poses though. Not great. That's me. That rabbit is me playing this game and how I feel about it right this moment. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed. A fun revisit, for sure. And I'm ready for new WarioWare game. I want to connect the wrist strap in that new one as well. Well, take care, everybody. Thank you for watching WarioWare Smooth Moves. It's okay. It's pretty fun. And the motion controls mostly work. And it's WarioWare, and it's a pretty good one. So thank you for re-watching or watching or whatever you're doing right now. And thank you for it. Goodbye. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This is an innovative new way to tell a story. You complete the game, and then you get the intro story. Now we learn all about the background of this ancient, mysterious Wiimote. Just being, just being greedy, you know, just, just laughing at how greedy he is, Rev <laughs> reveling in it. Okay, <laughs> goodbye.